Ever thought of having a horse for a pet? Well, how about a Great Dane instead? I jest, of course, but it's no secret that these gentle giants are often compared to horses due to their towering stature. Now, if you're scratching your head, pondering whether I've lost my marbles, allow me to clarify. Today we're discussing the ins and outs, the highs and lows, the joys and woes of owning a Great Dane. This majestic breed, with its regal bearing and heart as big as its body, is a sight to behold. But is it the right companion for you? Well, that's what we're here to find out. We're going to delve into the Great Dane's temperament, their quirks, their health, and even their diet. We'll also chew over whether they're suited for apartments or need a sprawling backyard to frolic in. So, saddle up, folks. We're about to embark on a Great Dane journey. Scene script. First things first, let's talk about the lifespan of these gentle giants. Now, Great Danes are not the Methuselahs of the dog world. They tend to live between seven to ten years, but don't let that put you off. Their years are like doggy gold, precious, rare, and full of life. It's quality over quantity with these beauties. Now, on to the differences between males and females. Males are a tad larger, often standing at a regal 32 inches at the shoulder. Females aren't far behind, typically measuring around 30 inches. To put it into perspective, if you've ever tried to put a top hat on a mini fridge, you'll have a pretty good idea of the size we're talking about here. In terms of weight, males usually tip the scales at a robust 150 to 180 pounds. Females are a bit lighter, weighing in at about 110 to 140 pounds. That's about the weight of a full-grown panda bear. So you might want to think twice before letting them hop onto your lap. Let's talk temperament now. Great Danes are often described as gentle giants. They are friendly, patient, and generally get along well with other pets and children. They might look like they can pull a cart, but they're more likely to curl up on the couch and demand belly rubs. But don't be fooled by their lounging. These dogs are also protective. If they sense danger, they'll stand tall and do their best to protect their family. So they're like your personal bodyguard, but with a wagging tail and a slobbery kiss. Finally, it's worth noting that Great Danes are not just dogs, they're characters. They'll keep you on your toes with their playful antics and endearing clumsiness. They're like the life of the party, but the party is your life and the host is a dog the size of a small horse. Who knew that owning a mini horse could be such a joyride? Now that we've established that Great Danes are basically oversized lap dogs, let's dig into their quirks and behaviours. Imagine a dog with an appetite that rivals a teenager's. That's your Great Dane for you. They have an insatiable love for food, be it a can of dog food or a piece of your sandwich sneakily snatched from the coffee table. Their diet needs to be well balanced with the right mix of proteins, fats and carbohydrates. But remember, these gentle giants are prone to bloating, so avoid feeding them right after a vigorous game of fetch. Now let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say the Dane in the room. Great Danes are susceptible to specific health problems like hip dysplasia and heart diseases. Regular vet checkups are crucial to keep these issues at bay, so if you're considering adopting a Dane, you might want to bookmark your vet's number on speed dial. Ah, energy levels. If you're picturing a Great Dane bouncing off the walls with energy, you're in for a surprise. Despite their imposing stature, these dogs are pretty laid back. They're more likely to lounge on your couch than run laps in your backyard. But don't let that fool you into thinking they don't need exercise. A good walk or a gentle play session is essential to keep them fit and healthy. When it comes to training, Great Danes are like giant sponges. They soak up commands and tricks effortlessly. They're eager to please, making them a joy to train. But remember, they can be a bit stubborn at times, so patience is key. And the million-dollar question, do they make good family or guard dogs? Well, they're a bit of a paradox. They're gentle and loving with their family, but their size and deep bark can be quite intimidating to strangers. So they're like a cuddly teddy bear that doubles as a formidable watchdog. Remember, a tired Great Dane is a happy Great Dane. And a happy Great Dane? Well, that's a whole lot of happy. Ever wondered how much it costs to keep a small horse? I mean, a Great Dane happy? Well, brace yourselves, folks. Buying a Great Dane puppy could set you back anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand pounds. That's like buying a small car or a really large collection of rubber ducks. 
And the expenses don't stop there, oh no. Think about the food bills. They don't call them great for nothing. These gentle giants eat like a horse, or maybe like a small elephant. And then there's the grooming, the vet visits, the health insurance, the toys. It's almost like raising a child, but furrier and with a bit more slobber. And let's not forget about the potential home renovations. Yes, you heard it right. You might need to supersize your doors or invest in a king-sized bed. So if you're ready to trade your wallet for a wagging tail, a Great Dane might be your perfect match. Before we wrap up, let's discuss one more thing. Can you guess what it is? Now, don't panic. I'm not about to tell you that Great Danes can fly, or that they're secretly plotting to take over the world. No, indeed, it's something far more important. You see, every time you hit that like button, a Great Dane somewhere learns a new trick. And every time you hit subscribe, well, a Great Dane somewhere gets its favourite treat. Don't believe me? Well, it's the internet, my friend. Stranger things have been said. But all jests aside, your support really does make a difference. It helps us bring you more content, more insights, more of the big, goofy, lovable Danes that we all adore. So, if you've enjoyed our little chat today, why not show some love? If you don't want a Great Dane sitting on your lap, better hit that like and subscribe button.